we learned today that, that there are 1.2 billion youth, or people considered youth, around the world. That's the same number of the, basically the population of the entire world in 1950, right? So we're talking about an, an absurdly large number of people um, who are all interested and have an, a vested interest in making sure that this planet works for us. Uh, we are no longer going to inherit it, we are living in it. Uh, we need to sort of own, in, own, in, uh, own up to that or, or live into that, right? Um, I think that we have a, a, a significant responsibility to, to turn away from some of the mistakes and to learn from the mistakes that we've made from the past that we know have been mistakes. These are not things that are sort of gray area that could have been good, that could have been bad. These are things that definitely set us down the wrong track. We have an opportunity to say, hey, we're not going to do those same things. Business as usual is no longer an option. We're going to set a new track. We're going to take a look at the world as a place of opportunity and hope and say, hey, this is what we can do. Yes, this might be a challenge. We might be being told that there's a lot of, that there's doomsday coming around the corner, that apocalypse now is happening, right? That the world is going to end because we've polluted it too much or because there's too many greenhouse gases. In reality, we ha that, that is an opportunity for us to say, we are going to make the most of this. We are going to do more than we've ever been able to do before because we are more connected than we've ever been before. Somebody earlier spoke about the, the, the way that technology co connects us. I think that's really relevant when we're talking about young people. Millennials are, have a sort of a, uh, a reputation for being really good with the technology. We grow up in a place that's about information at our fingertips, data and connections to people around the world at our fingertips. We can use those to group and, and to group up in, in, in the largest network on the planet and say, we care about this. We care about what's being done. We care about the decisions that are being made. Um, I think events like this at the United Nations uh, is, are actually like an awesome opportunity for young people to say, we do have a voice. We are using that voice. We are collectively expressing our interest, our interest in the future of this world uh, as we move forward, right? And we're expressing it in a venue at a place that says we're here to listen. We love you as a generation. We want to hear what you have to say about the future of our world. And we want you to be part of the conversation, not a fly on the wall, not a spectator, not somebody who's on a stage to perform. We want you to be involved with the conversation. And that's what I think is important. So I think that one of the biggest things that youth can do in order to eradicate poverty and promote sustainability and tackle these global issues is just to educate their peers, educate their families, educate their communities, and teach people how they can live their lives more sustainably. Because I can't be the only one who's taking action to solve these global challenges, right? I have to talk to people and educate them and show them how they can also make their individual actions count for a more sustainable future. So I think that the most important and perhaps easiest thing that youth can do is just to educate others on these are the problems that our world is facing and these are the actions that you can take in order to help solve them. Youth have tremendous potential and capacity to create amazing change in solving poverty through sustainable consumption and by tackling climate change. Youth need to be empowered so that they can bring the sustainable development goals, all 17 of them, to wherever they're from. We need to localize and implement the sustainable development goals. There is no point in creating them if people are not going to take it back to the ground and really use it wherever in those communities are from. And one of the practical ways we can do it is by investing in young women and girls. Uh, this LEAPS framework by UN Women really looks at how we can mobilize young women uh, and girls so that they can take leadership, economic empowerment, participation, uh, and skills development so that they can participate in achieving the sustainable development goals. If we want to solve climate change, if we want to solve poverty, we must invest in gender equality.